Hi friends! Today we will learn the differences between the simple and compound microscope. So let's start. We have already learned about the simple and compound microscope in our last sections. Now let's figure out the differences between the two. The simple microscope only has one lens, which is usually an objective lens. The compound microscope has at least two lenses and may have three to five objective lenses. The compound microscope is used to magnify algae, fungi, and bacteria. As we know, it has two lenses. The ocular lens is the one through which you look through, and the objective lens is close to the slide, or the specimen. The simple microscope is not used for any research, whereas the compound microscope is used for professional and research purposes. A compound microscope has many different zoom options, as its magnification relies on more than one lens. And this is why we call it as a compound microscope, whereas the simple microscope does not have any zoom options, as it has only one lens, and this is why it's called the simple microscope. The maximum magnifying power of a simple microscope is 10, whereas the maximum magnifying power of a compound microscope can be 1000. The total magnification of a simple microscope is limited to only one lens. The total magnification of a compound microscope is the product of the magnification of the two lenses. For example, if the ocular lens has a magnification of 10 and the objective lens has a magnification of 10, then the total magnification of the compound microscope will be 100. No condenser lens is present in the case of a simple microscope. But the condenser lens is present in a compound microscope. It is used to adjust the intensity of light for the magnification of the specimen. In the case of a simple microscope, there is no use of a course, hooks, and knobs. But in the case of a compound microscope, you need to use knobs and hooks to adjust the lenses to focus the image to get a clearer, magnified image. For a simple microscope, you always need a natural source of light. And for a compound microscope, a special illuminator is used that throws light onto the specimen. For a simple microscope, the stand is a small hollow rod attached to the base, and it is used to hold the lens. In the case of a compound microscope, the stand is called an arm. This is curved for better hold over the microscope. In the case of a simple microscope, the mirror used is concave and of reflective type. And in the case of a compound microscope, the mirror used is plane at one side and concave on the other. In the case of a simple microscope, anytime you magnify something, you lose a certain detail. In the case of a compound microscope, there is less loss of detail. In the case of a simple microscope, only one adjustment screw is there which is used to move the lens up and down for focusing the object. In the case of a compound microscope, it has two types of adjusting screws. The coarse adjustment screw, which is used for rapid focusing of the object, and the fine adjustment screw, which is for the shine and sharpness focusing of the object. The use of a simple microscope is limited to magnify things like very small fonts while reading or very small parts of small machines, like repairing them. It can also be used while making jewelry. The compound microscope is used to see the details of the cells, like you can see the organelles of the cell. So friends, these were some of the basic differences between the simple and compound microscope.